I designed this low poly lagoon as an entry level for our game Beans or Bones. And today I'd like to share with you the thought process behind designing and creating this lagoon in a low poly style. The process starts with the story of the game followed by some research. And based on that I developed some ideas which I finally implemented. Now the story of the game is the following. It's a pirate game and you are stranded on a cannibal island. But instead of cooking you directly, the cannibals offer you a deal. If you help them become vegetarians, you are free to go. And Beans and Bones is a two-player online game. So I asked myself, where did cannibals live? And one area I found was Papua New Guinea. I did an image search on Papua New Guinea and found a lot of beautiful pictures. There was one image that especially caught my attention and which became the basis for my lagoon. I really love the curves, everything's smooth and everything's overgrown. But I still required some ideas for my village and the rest of the island. So this is the second image that caught my attention. You have the water and the beach, then you have the village. And around this village you have the small area of palm trees, which is very distinct from the highly dense rainforest in the back. So let's hop over into Unity and see how I implemented these core ideas. Now this is how the lagoon looks like in the editor. And you directly see some of the core elements, the rounded rocks and hillsides and everything's overgrown. So when I turn the camera you see the beach with a small village, then the area with the palm trees and behind that the jungle or rainforest. So how did I implement the scene? The terrain is a standard Unity terrain that I created using Gaia Pro. And in addition I'm using the Microsplat terrain shader. For the water I'm using the Crest Ocean shader. And I tuned the material to fit to the stylized or low poly look. And mainly I removed all the reflection from the water. For vegetation placement and rendering I'm using Vegetation Studio Pro. Which is very flexible and allows for fast iterations. For instance, I can create biomasks, which is very helpful in placing all the vegetation. So I have a biome for the beach, for the palm trees and the jungle. The palm trees and most of the rainforest vegetation comes from the Synthi Polygon Pirate Pack. For the rainforest, I used this very low poly and blocky canopies to get the high density look and feel with acceptable performance. And for the grass and bushes I'm using the stylized grass shader, which also allows for a high density with acceptable performance. In this level you can't simply enter the rainforest, so I added some fog as a visible barrier. And for the fog I'm using the volumetric fog and mist 2 package. The towers and the building are also part of the Synthi Pirate Pack. And finally for the skies I'm using Enviro and I've tuned the clouds so that they have this stylized look. And if you would like to have a closer look at the level, it's part of the demo that's already available on Steam. So hopefully you got some inspiration for your own level. And if you like the video, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel.